Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to solve um, equations with variables in them. And in this video, I'll give, I'll show you three example, three equations that have variables in them, and I'll solve them step by step so that you can understand how to solve these type of equations. So let's get into it. Now, guys, these are the three equations we'll be solving for. In the first equation, I'll, I'll be showing you how to um, solve for the variable x. And in the second equation, I'll do the same thing. So, um, show you how to solve for the variable y. But in the third equation, I'm going to show you how to solve how to um, solve for two different variables. So let's get into solving the first um, equation. So guys, I'm going to be solving for the first equation. The first equation is 5x plus 40 is equal to 200. Now, in what, what we have to do first is to know what 5x represents. 5x basically means 5 times x. So whenever you see um, a variable next to a number, that basically means the variable times that particular number. So now, so we know that 5x is equal to 5 times x plus 40 equals 200. Now what do we have to, what we have to do is switch from number 40 to this side. And when we switch, now, uh, um, 40 to the other, si uh, other side of, we have to change its side. So in this, in this equation, 40 is positive. So we have to change, when we switch it over here, we have to change it to negative. So this is how the equation would be. So I can cross this out and I get minus 40. And then I can see that five times X is equal to two, 200 minus 40. So now we have to subtract 200, uh, we have to subtract 40 from 200. Now let's do that. And it is equal to 160. Now I'm going to write the final equation we have here. So we have 5x equal to 160. So since 5x means 5 times x, we have to take the 5 and we have to divide it over here. So since um, 5 is in multiplication, it's in the multiplication side, we have, when we switch it over here, we have to change it to the division sign because uh, the opposite of multiplication is division. So I changed it to um, division and I, when I switch to this side. Now let's divide this. And when we divide this, we get we get 32. And so now we got x equals to 32. So here it is, we got x equals to 32. So whenever you're um, um, doing these type of problems, guys, always switch. Uh, so so remember, remember when we switched the numbers to the opposite side? Always just change the numbers. Don't do the variables because it's going to be really complex if you switch the variable the variables instead of the numbers. So always switch the numbers instead of the variables. So that was the um, step by step step for um, the first equation. Now let's get to the second equation. Now guys, I'll be showing you how to solve. Um, equation two. Now let's start solving it. And in, in, in these type of equations, we have to look for similar variables. 
So since we have a Y here, a Y here, what we need to do is add them up because they both have because they both have the same variable. So whenever we have a, 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 the same variable, we have to add them to each other. So now let's add them up. And we get seven Y. And I'll put now I'll put the other rest of the equation. So by this, we get seven Y equals to 28. Now, like, like, like the last equation, since seven times seven y is means seven times y, what we need to do is divide. We have to take the seven and divide it by twenty. Divide it by twenty-eight. So over here, we so now our equation is saying y equals twenty-eight divided by seven. Now let's solve for twenty-eight divided by seven. So it's 28 divided by 7 is 4. And this is um, our solution. Y is equal to 4. So let's write that down. So here's our final solution. Y is equal to 4. Now let's move on to the third equation. Now guys, let's solve the third equation. In this equation, we have two different equations. And in both of the equations, we have um, the same variables, x and y. And in both of the equations, x, is, x and y are the same value. So we have to keep in mind that x and y are the same value. So now this is the equation. x plus y is equal to five. x minus y is equal to one. So these are the two different equations. Now. In this um, equation, the main goal we need to do is we have to find the value for x and y. Now let's start um, finding the values of x and y. So when, uh, when we start, we have to take one of the equations. I'm going to take the second equation, which is x minus y equals 1. So now I'll write that down. And when we do this, we have to write the variable in the form of another variable. So let's do that. So now what we have to do is take the negative y and we have to switch it over here to the other side. So it would be one plus y because remember when I said, um, when you, when you switch the particular number or variable to, to the other side, you have to change its symbol to the opposite sign. So now I, I changed it. And now we got an equation of x equals one plus y. So that's our equation. Now what we have to do is substitute the x value to the first equation because we use the second a second um, equation to find what the x value is. Now we have to um, use the x value on the first equation. So let's do that. So now I'm gonna um, apply. I'm gonna um, substitute the x value in this equation. In the first equation. So it would be one plus y. Plus y equals five. So here we got the um, equation. So now we, we remember I said, whenever we have similar, we have the same equation. Um, variables, we have to add them together. So now let's add y and y, which is 2y. So the equation would be 1 plus 2y equals 5. 
Now we have to um, change, um, we have to switch the one to the other side. So we can cross this out and the opposite of positive one is negative one. So when we switch it to the other side, we have to change it to negative one. So here we got um, positive two y equals to five minus one. And so this is our final equation. Um, so that's our final equation. And now we um, have to solve for what five minus one is, which is technically four. So our equation would be two y minus, uh, sorry, um, equals four. So that our equation. Now we have to use this equation and solve for y. So I'm now gonna show you how to do that. Now I'm gonna um, put that, show you how to solve for, uh, for y. So we got two y equals Four. So that's one main point, or um, main point. So now we have to, um, since two y is equal to two times y, we have to um, sw switch the two to the other side. And when we switch it, um, we have to make it to the opposite side. So it is, um, we have to change it to div uh, div um dividing so this is what it would be two sorry y equals four divided by two which is equal to four divided by two is two so now y is equal to two so by this we found y with a uh, our, what the what the value of y is, and we found the value of x. So in this equation, we basically use two equations and found both of them in separate. Guys, so now we got um, y equals to two, and before, well, when we were solving this equation, we got x is equal to one plus y. So let's write that down. But don't think this is the final answer. We still we still have to make this a whole number. So since we got the value for y and we have a y here, we can substitute this um, value into this equation. So let me do that and so we get two. So one plus two is equal to three. So now we got the final um, value for x and y. So uh, the, these are the final, um, answers for this equation. X is equal to three and Y is equal to two. Guys, so I hope you thought this video was useful. So please don't forget to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button. Plus, don't forget to share your my videos to your uh, um, any one of your relatives or friends. And please wait for my other hopeful videos. See you next time.